Hello friends, in the previous video tutorial, we loaded our data set into active workspace area. We also loaded the data table widget into active workspace area and connected it with the diabetes data set. We also loaded the distribution widget and lastly we used distribution widget to show the graphical representation. In this video tutorial, we will do basic pre-processing of the data set. What do I mean by this pre-processing? As you can see in this data set that age is in numerical format. So it can be normalized between 0 to 1. Similarly, the other columns such as gender, polyuria, polydipsia have two values. So now we will pre-process this data. To pre-process it, we need to connect this data with a preprocessor. It is labeled as preprocess widget. I will load it into active workspace area and I will connect the output of the data table with the input of preprocess. As you can see, there is again by default the selected data is loaded. I will change it to whole data set. I can also remove the connection with the clear all button and create a new connection between the whole data set with the data of preprocess. I will click on OK. Now we will see certain properties of preprocess. If this is your first time, you might not see the normalized feature on the right side. You might see the screen like this. On the left side, you can see there are multiple features. For this tutorial, I will use normalization feature that is labeled here. If I double click on this, we see various methods to normalize the data set. I will use normalize to interval 0 to 1, the last option. Now I will close this. Now if I want to visualize the data again, what should I do? I will use another data table and connect it with the preprocess. So you can see now instead of showing it as data, it is showing as pre-processed data. If I double click on this, you can see age is normalized between 0 to 1. Before wrapping up this video, let me also show you one more visit that is rank visit. If I connect my pre-processed data table with the rank visit, I get the gain ratio and information gain. This is also important to understand our data set that which features are the most important feature in the given data set. For example, here polyuria, polydipsia and gender are the top three properties that are most important in this particular data set because they have the highest gain ratio. So I have selected the whole data set to show in the rank visit. If I double click on this, I get the features arranged in order of the gain ratio. So in this data set, I can see polyurea, polydipsia and gender are the top three properties which have the highest gain ratio. So that is all for this video.